Listen, I need all my kingdom minded people to begin to expand their minds in this season. Amen. I need y'all to think bigger. I need y'all to begin to think globally in this season. Listen, why is that? Because as witchcraft continues to infiltrate our churches, as witches and warlocks continue to run rapid, as occult people continue to take over politics, take over the government, take over the media, the music industry, as evil continues to infiltrate our children's school system and infiltrate our children's lives, influencing them for all the wrong reasons. Listen, why do Christians continue to sit back and do nothing? Why do Christians continue to go to church every week and you drink your coffee, you eat your food, you sit back and laugh and joke with each other like you're living in some fantasy land, but you're completely oblivious to what's actually going on in this world. We are in a spiritual war and God is saying, hey, it's time for my people to wake up. Amen. Listen, my power, God is saying my power and my glory being revealed through the church is no longer enough. We need to go beyond that. We need to go further than that. God said, God is saying, I'm getting ready to set forth and establish my divine order back here on earth. So God is saying, all oh, my apostles, my prophets, my evangelists, my pastors, if I called upon you to do my works in these last days, I need y'all to get serious and get focused. I need y'all to sanctify yourselves. I need y'all to get consecrated in this season. I need y'all to fast and pray. I need y'all to come together in unity. We need to come together in unity and create a formation to, to where we, we can begin to move forward to the front lines for battle. God is saying, listen, as witchcraft is infiltrating my churches, I need my kingdom people to infiltrate politics. I need my kingdom people to infiltrate the school system, the judicial system, infiltrate the government. Listen, if we have more kingdom leaders in these last days that were empowered to step into positions of leadership. If we had more kingdom people that had doors of opportunity to step into government, to step into politics, to step into the judicial system, and we had kingdom people, prayer leaders, intercessors all over the world, gathering in groups and fasting and praying when decisions were about to be made, fasting and praying when laws were about to be enforced, then we can begin to overturn injustices. These spirits, these, these laws that were enforced by the Antichrist spirit, we, be, we can begin to eradicate these laws. We can begin to overturn these laws. Understand something. When we fast and pray, angels are dispatched in the realm of the spirit to come fight for us. And there is a court system in the heavenly realms that is superior to any court system here on earth. Amen. And God is saying, listen, I need my people to wake up and realize their authority in Christ Jesus. As soon as we begin to understand that we have been given the power and authority through the blood of Jesus Christ to become God's enforcers here on earth. God can will something in heaven all he wants. But listen, he is going to seek and wait for somebody that's willing to become a vessel, that's willing to intercede for his kingdom as soon as we understand that we can begin to shift nations for the kingdom of heaven and establish his divine order here on earth it's about that time come on let's get it